we still have the problem of how to get this area back in. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the original image. I'm going to use my lasso tool and I am going to very sloppily, that's not a word, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to very sloppily copy this and then go to edit, paste, paste in place. And uh, I actually have a problem right here. And the problem is that I was on the wrong layer. I was trying to, uh, excuse me, let's go step back. I was trying to copy and paste from this layer, but if I pressed control C and then edit, paste in place, what I ended up doing is I pasted from the wrong layer. So, so whenever there's a problem, the first place to look, so you'll notice that all I have is a duplicate of this layer. Uh, if ever there's a problem, the first place to look is are you on the wrong layer? Just undo a couple of times, go into your history, undo, set yourself on the right layer, copy, edit, paste in place. So now we have two layers. Well, we have other layers, but we have two layers. One that looks like this, and one that looks like this. If we sandwich them on top of each other, we get the combination of both of them which fixes the problem of all of these missing pieces. It looks like actually over here, there's a bit of a problem. So let's go back to this original one and let's spend a little bit more time actually getting this selection uh, dead on. Now I could use something like the pen tool right here, but like I said, I wanna try using the simplest tools possible and not introducing new tools in order to create more advanced results. So copy, edit, paste in place. And now we're going to combine these three layers. And that's actually looking pretty good. Although I can see actually the side right here also needs more definition. So I'm going to go to this original one. And the reason for that is you can see that there's a little reflection of the sky in her face. Uh, and that's just getting, that got caught up when we did the uh, color range. So I'm just going to go around and you can see that I've zoomed in in order to do this. While using the lasso tool, I'm also hitting the space bar, clicking and dragging to move it down further, just so I'm always working in the middle of the screen, which I find a lot easier than working in these top parts right there, and also better for the sake of you watching it. And I'm going to do one more time, making sure I'm on the right layer, copy, and then control shift V to paste in place. And now what we have is this, 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 and this. So we went from this to this. That looks pretty good. Now, if we were to give it a more if we were to give it a more forgiving background, it would look even better. However, if we were to give it an even harder background, let's say a red background, all of the flaws would start to appear. So obviously this selection method isn't perfect. Uh, I would need to go through and with more detail, go in with my eraser, probably decrease the size with it, uh, play with it for a while. Excuse me play with it for a while, and you know, get to a point where I was happy with it. But if we are just putting it on a solid background like this, excuse me, like this, it does a pretty fine job. So that's what color range does right there. There are far more advanced methods for selecting hair, uh, but we're going to move on. And for now, understand that we've followed some really powerful things for selection.